Hey guys, Tiny Tom Logan back with a really quick video for you. Um, this is a kind of our first look at the MSI Z77A GD55. Now, you're probably already thinking he's already got the board out, where's the box? Well, this is actually a system integrator's board. Kind of these are the type of things that uh, MSI would send out to the retailers and stuff like that for them to get to a, have a play with the board before like the main release. So though I've got no box, I've got no drivers, I've got no nothing. I've actually got this to send off to uh, Gary, one of my reviewers, which is, this is going to be part of his static kit basically that we're going to be using in some future reviews and some builds and stuff. So the other stuff wasn't really needed. But before I send it off to him, I wanted to give you guys just basically a quick look round it in case you haven't seen it yet, because it's actually a pretty good looking board. So what I'm going to do is uh, just guide you round the board really, keep moving the camera about, zooming in, zooming out, and we'll, uh, we'll uh, see how we get on. But, right, zoom out a little bit Thomas, there we go. Top of the board, up here, we can see that we've got the uh, Genie Overclock button and then we've also got the Reset and then the Power button. So Power, Reset, Genie Overclock and the Genie Overclock one at the top which is the bigger one. Um, we've got the uh, 24 pin there which actually sits a fair bit in really compared to uh, where you normally expect it to be crammed on the outside. There's also some uh, voltage pickup points just along this side. I should really do it from the other side shouldn't I so you can see but voltage pickup points. Uh, other things to notice, there's a fan header here, fan header here, and there's another one just there. Um, another one right down here in near the CPU socket area, and that's all of the fan headers for the top of the board. I do quite like these kind of industrial looking military, I so, oh, wouldn't say they're military themed, although this one I think is meant to look a bit like a gun, it looks a bit gigabyte-y. But the, um, the, the black and the blue the, the, together, I think it looks really, really nice. The 8-pin um, CPU power is just here, just out of shot. But we'll get it at another angle in a minute. If we look a little bit further down, we can see the first slot is a PCI Express 1. Then we've got the first PCI Express 16 slot. There's uh, uh, two slots between. So if you had a three slot card, this would actually fit, because obviously that would be dual slot, that would be three slot. Uh, then we've got the second PCI Express 16, and they both are wired up as uh, 16 uh, lanes as well. A lot of the um, other Z77 boards, the second slot is only wired as an 8, but this is wired as a 16. So if you did, for argument's sake, want to run your card in the second slot, you could still use the all 16 lanes. And we've got another PCI Express 1, and then the final PCI Express at the bottom is uh, only electrically wired as an 8 slot. There's another fan header here. It's only a 3-pin header though, not a PWM 4-pin like the others. Then we've got uh, two, three, sorry, uh, USB 2 uh, internal headers here. You can obviously see that real nice blue... Um, chipset heatsink. I actually quite like the look of it as well. I'm just going to move the. Right, let me zoom in. Right, then we've got two. Um... Right, move camera, stop. There we go. Right. So we've got a USB uh, 3 internal header there, and then we've got the uh, uh, SATA 6 or SATA 3, however you want to pronounce it. I always get the two mixed up here. And then just some normal SATA 2s here. Now if I move the board a little bit. A little bit more than that, Tom, really. But we can go up and get a, another look at the, uh, the top of the board from this angle. You can see the 8-pin CPU power hiding there then. You can get another look at from a different angle of those um, MOSFET heat sinks. And there's a fair bit of uh, power delivery around the CPU socket, considering that the, uh, the IVs are going to be lower power. You can also get a better view of the voltage checkpoints down on this part of the board here, if you were to use a multimeter to double check uh, the voltages going through the boards. Now, I'm going to try and spin the uh, motherboard round. There we go. 
so that we can have a look at the back panel. So at the top we have the PS2 uh, which will do the keyboard and the mouse which is why it's purple and green and then a pair of uh, USB 2s. Got a coaxial output and uh, an optical output so that's your two digital audio connectors. Then we've also got two more uh, USB 2s with a HDMI at the bottom. Gigabit Ethernet with two USB uh, 3s. Then we've got VGA and DVI and then we move on to the um, uh, HD audio there. Now there is a THX button, uh, button. <laughs> there is a THX logo a little bit further up here but like I said I've got no manuals um, in fact let me try and get it on the camera for you, there we go I've got no manuals or drivers or anything like that so it says THX True Sound Pro so I'm assuming that's all to do with the audio drivers and codecs that are going to be used inside or when you do set it up but obviously this is going to be Gary's baby so we'll see what he does with it at a later date now this board uh, if you want to see it in action uh, it's not going to be getting reviewed by us like I said this is going to be part of a uh, rig that Gary is going to be putting together in an NZXT Phantom 410 um, and it will be featured in the article section on Overclock 3D over the coming weeks um, so yes, this is going to be uh, going in that and that's why it wasn't necessarily so important that we had uh, all the box and all that kind of stuff. But I just wanted to chuck a quick video together so you can have a look. Again, if you're interested in these boards or this board, post underneath because I read all the comments. I will be interested to uh, see what you say and what you think. Um, but yeah, I'll give you one more slow look down the board. Don't forget to comment underneath what you think. and. Keep an eye out on Overclock 3D over the coming weeks because you will see this board um, appearing. I actually really like the look of it as well. I, it, it's a grower. I really do think that because it's, it's not massively busy. There's lots of nice kind of plain areas of PCB around um, and the black and the blue. It's all quite subtle, I think. It's a lot kind of cleaner looking than a lot of the other boards I've seen recently where there seems to be something electrical everywhere. This is one of the few boards I've seen where there does seem to be some quite open expanses of uh, like bare PCB with nothing there. Whether that's a good or a bad thing long term we won't know but uh, this is our first look at the uh, MSI Z77A GD55 and yes guys, like I said, it was just an aesthetics look. But anyway, this is Tony Tom Logan with another video for you. Out.